The clog dance by Sebold features both right hand and left hand pizzicato. In the right hand pizzicato, we won't have the opportunity to root the thumb at the base of the fingerboard. All of this right hand pizzicato will be done with uh, an almost straight first finger coming from the bow. In the right hand pizzicato, you have a choice to play closer to the bridge or closer to the fingerboard. Um, actually, if you're plucking the string exactly halfway from where your finger is, that's where you'll get the most sound, that's where you'll get the most overtones. So we'll usually try to approximate where that place is about halfway down the fingerboard. Also, in the right hand pizzicato, sometimes we can alternate between a down bow stroke and an up bow stroke. Uh, and that, that sounds a lot more strummed, like a guitar. In the left hand pizzicato, you'll have to take care to land your plucking finger a little bit to the left side of the string. And the hand pulls away from the fingerboard. Traditionally, when using a mix of both bowed and left hand pizzicato, uh, we'll bounce the bow at the tip of the bow. This very short stroke at the tip imitates the very dry sound we're getting with the left hand pizzicato. Many of the great violin pedagogues recommend practicing left hand pizzicato frequently. However, there are very few pieces for the violin with left hand pizzicato, and those pieces are generally very difficult, like the 24th Paganini Caprice, Ernst's Last Rose of Summer, and perhaps uh, a little bit in the Caprice Basque by Sarasate. This piece is wonderful because it's not impossibly difficult, and it gives us a chance to develop our left hand pizzicato. The action of the left hand pizzicato will be very helpful in developing your trill and also uh, developing the general action of the left hand and left hand posture. If you're already studying some of Kreutzer's 42 studies, many of the trill exercises in that book can also be practiced with left hand pizzicato. One of the stranger markings in this piece is at the very last measure uh, where it says fortissimo and tranquilo. Uh, think long and hard about how you'd like to play a very strong but calm sound.